Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the lecture on finite volume method for convection and diffusion problems. So, uh, as we discussed uh, in the, our uh, last lecture, we talked about the uh, different num uh, numerical methods and typically we will be talking about the finite volume method which is uh, normally uh, used for uh, uh, solving the uh, problems which uh, uh, take place uh, you know uh, which, uh, which discusses about uh, the cases in the steel making uh, you know uh, practices. So, uh, you will be talking about uh, the finite volume method and its aspects you know different uh, you know aspects which are to be uh, taken into consideration when we deal with the convection and diffusion problems. Because we have seen while dealing with these uh, uh, you know uh, equations uh, of the Neville Stroke equations or so. What we see that you have uh, especially you have the convection term as well as the uh, diffusion term. So, apart from that you will have uh, uh, one term related to time and then you will have the uh, terms related to pressure on the right hand side as well as the source term. So, that is how the uh, you know overall uh, uh, you know uh, shape of the uh, uh, you know equation is like. So, now we will see that when you have the uh, convection terms and also the diffusion terms both uh, you know into the governing equation, then how this finite volume method will be working and what are those considerations which need to be taken uh, to solve these uh, problems. So, uh, going to uh, the uh, finite volume method for the uh, diffusion uh, you know uh, problems. Uh, now, we will be talking about the uh, you know convection as well as the diffusion problems in the in that case. So, here it is not about diffusion problems only, but it is uh, about the uh, convection as well as diffusion problems. So, you will have the uh, uh, the uh, uh, governing equation will be dive of rho u phi will be dive of tau grad, uh, grad phi plus s phi. So, this is uh, the uh, you know uh, the convection term and uh, this is uh, talking about that uh, terms related to convection and this is the about the diffusion uh, you know and then you will have the uh, source term. So, what you do is that uh, when you are uh, uh, integrating uh, formally uh, this equation over the control volume. So, in that case uh, you will have once you integrate it. So, it will be n times rho u phi d a. So, it will be uh, you, you will be integrated. Uh, so, it will be n times rho u phi d a that will be n um, dot tau grad phi uh, d a plus s phi d v. So, that is uh, how you can uh, you, you will have that is uh, by the uh, rule you can write that uh, once you do it over, over the control volume that can be expressed in this form. So, uh, so accordingly you will have uh, the equation coming like uh, rho u phi d a value that will be uh, tau grad phi d a and uh, plus s phi uh, d v. So, uh, if you uh, talk about the uh, one dimensional form you know uh, one dimensional control volume that is what uh, we have uh, earlier you know discussed this uh, uh, one dimensional control volume you will have the node p here and you will have uh, the west face as well as the east face and say accordingly you will have the uh, distances delta x small w capital P and capital P small e that is between the node P and the face these are the uh, distances. So, the apart from that uh, so you will have the equation d by d x or u phi that will be uh, d by d x of tau uh, d phi by d x. So, that will be normally when you do not have the source term in that case uh, if you uh, go for that equation. So, you will have the uh, expression you can write d by d x of uh, rho u phi 
that will be uh, d by dx of tau d phi by dx that will be coming from uh, you know this uh, you know equation and also uh, the flow has to satisfy the equation of continuity. So, in that case d by dx of rho u that will be uh, equal to 0. Now, what you see what you have seen earlier where we have seen that we have uh, found the uh, control volume and again you have uh, once you have uh, uh, this equation. So, the equation must be rewritten further for the uh, control volume. So, uh, if you uh, try to write these uh, do the integration over the uh, control volume in that case uh, what will happen this rho u phi will be at uh, E and at W. So, convection is uh, uh, going on that is why uh, you will have uh, the if you the take that uh, flux. So, it will be rho u phi uh, A that is at E minus W it will be uh, uh, equal to tau a d phi by dx e minus tau a d phi by dx at w. So, that is what uh, uh, this equation needs to be solved. So, that these values you are finding at this end uh, these you know uh, surfaces. So, you are uh, finding at e and as well as at w. Similarly, for the continuity equation that equation will yield to uh, rho u capital A at east face and rho u capital A at the west face that will be equal to uh, 0. So, what happens that uh, once you have uh, uh, this uh, these two equations now what we do is that we take these uh, uh, you know you have the this is the convective term uh, representation of the convective uh, effect and this is the representation of the uh, diffusion effect and you take this rho u uh, this uh, rho u uh, will be uh, taken uh, as the f. So, what we uh, do is we uh, we have uh, we can write the equation. So, you will have the equation that is uh, rho u a phi and this is at uh, the east face minus rho u a phi at the uh, west face and that will be equal to tau a uh, d phi by d x at east minus tau a d phi by d x at west. So, uh, and then uh, you got the um, you know rho u a at uh, east minus rho u a at west that should be equal to 0 this is based on the uh, continuity equation. Now, what we do is uh, you take uh, you know these uh, we have the convection as well as the uh, diffusion terms. So, what we do is we define two variables f and d. So, uh, f will be the convective uh, mass flux per unit area and uh, we represent it uh, you know. So, we, we are taking this value as rho u. So, uh, so we are taking this uh, uh, rho u and similarly the d this is the uh, you know diffusion conductance and uh, that will be uh, tau upon dx so so this way uh, you know uh, you uh, are are taking these uh, uh, two terms so uh, you know for the uh, so now at these phases when you talk about uh, the uh, f w. So, it will be uh, rho u uh, at w. Similarly, you have f e it will be uh, rho u at the east face. Similarly, you will have uh, d w it will be tau w by uh, delta w delta x that is at w p. So, for that uh, uh, you know uh, uh, west face and, and similarly you will have d e it will be uh, tau e divided by delta x p e. So, this way uh, uh, you have you are taking that. Now, a will be also a w as well as a e and if you take the a w and a e as the same one. So, uh, and uh, so if you take the a w as the a e and uh, you know we apply the uh, central differencing formula which we have uh, 
uh, done earlier uh, for the uh, uh, contribution of the diffusive uh, you know diffusion terms. So, uh, then you can uh, you what you see we now you can see that uh, so, this A term will also uh, vanish. So, you will have uh, the F E uh, phi E. So, that uh, term will come. So, you will have F E phi E minus F W phi W. So, that is uh, the, these two equations are there. So, this uh, because we are taking the uh, A W and A E as same. So, you can write that uh, on, on both the sides A, A will uh, cancel. So, then that will be uh, equal to, so that will be uh, d e of uh, phi e minus phi p and uh, then minus d w of phi p minus phi w. So, uh, this is uh, what you get uh, you know uh, uh, once you uh, go and uh, uh, see that uh, you know uh, equation. Now, uh, if you have uh, the, the you have another equation that is your continuity equation and the continuity equation becomes F e minus F w that will be equal to 0. So, uh, you know uh, that is how uh, you get uh, these uh, uh, you know these uh, uh, two equations uh, which is found. Now, uh, what we have to do is uh, that uh, you will have how you use because you have the phi at e and uh, we need to have this phi uh, you know expressed in terms of the uh, uh, you know uh, uh, the node nodal values so if you take the central differencing approximation so uh, for that uh, we will be uh, talking this uh, uh, you know uh, phi so the, so we can have this phi e as the uh, phi e plus uh, you know phi p by 2. Similarly, you can have uh, phi w it will be phi w plus phi p by 2. So, uh, if you uh, put these uh, you know uh, these values on, on in that equation. So, uh, and you uh, further do the uh, rearrangement. So, in that case uh, you will be getting the so uh, you will be getting uh, d w minus uh, f w by 2 and uh, that will be uh, plus d e plus f e by 2 and uh, that will be multiplied with phi p and that will be uh, uh, equal to plus f w by 2 into phi u plus d e minus f e by 2 then you will have phi e. So, that is not phi w and phi e. So, uh, so what you uh, see now uh, in this case uh, what you are uh, getting is that uh, you are getting the again the phi p in terms of uh, uh, the phi w and phi e. Uh, now, this is uh, coming because uh, you know the, this we are getting after rearrangement because uh, uh, in this case f e into f phi e plus phi p by 2. So, basically you are uh, uh, getting this uh, expression uh, from uh, the, the expansion of this expression f e into phi e will be taken as phi e plus phi p by 2 similarly minus f w into phi w. So, phi w will be uh, phi w plus phi p by 2 that will be equal to d e into phi e minus phi p uh, minus d w into phi p minus phi w. So, that is how now if you rearrange this uh, equation. So, you are going to get uh, you know uh, this expression and that is what you see again phi p will be in terms of phi w and phi e. Now, uh, you know if you uh, identify if you did see the coefficient you know in, in this case uh, where you can write that a p phi p that will be equal to uh, a w phi w plus a e phi e. So, uh, what you see that uh, again in this case a p uh, will be uh, you know 
uh, this term d w minus f, f w by 2. So, a p basically will be a w plus a f minus uh, plus f e minus f w. So, that is what uh, we can write. So, what we see in these cases you get the value of a p, you get the value of uh, a w and you get the value of a e. So, what you get the value of a p as uh, the a w plus a e plus f e minus f w. Similarly, in this case uh, a w we will be getting d w plus f w by 2. So, that is what you get here this is d w by 2. Similarly, this will be d e uh, minus f e by 2. So, this will be d minus f e by 2. Now, this will be uh, you know uh, this will be a smaller one. So, uh, so this will be d w plus f w and this is d minus f e by 2 that is what you get uh, and, and then you can uh, uh, solve them. However, we need to be uh, you know concerned with uh, certain aspects in the case of uh, diffusion problems. Now, uh, what we uh, need to be aware when we deal with these uh, convection and diffusion uh, problems. So, uh, we do the central differencing when we have uh, uh, done with uh, the uh, you know diffusion problems uh, in earlier case. So, in, in, that, in that you can easily take the central differencing scheme uh, where uh, you know you if you have to find the value at uh, uh, the, the phase you are taking the uh, value at uh, the uh, two uh, sides. So, you will have the east as well as the uh, towards the east as well as the west and then you can take the average of them. Now, this has not found to be uh, going well when the numerical solution is done. So, in the case of diffusion um, uh, problems or, or convection diffusion problems. So, uh, it has been seen that when uh, the convective effect is more in that case you need to be careful how you are going, how you are using the discretization uh, you know uh, uh, schemes that you have uh, to know. So, uh, you know there you, you we should be you know uh, the discretization scheme which we have to choose uh, that has to have certain uh, you know uh, properties. And the uh, common properties which the, the discretization schemes uh, need to have are one is the uh, you know conservativeness, so uh, you know uh, conservativeness uh, it tells that because uh, we are dealing with uh, the uh, you know uh, the uh, conserving uh, property of the phi when we talk, talk about the uh, control uh, volume. So, uh, what is de uh, desired in this case is that the flux uh, you know balance has to be maintained the, the flux which is uh, uh, entering from the adjacent phase. So, that has to be uh, uh, represented in a uh, consistent manner. So, uh, uh, suppose you have uh, two adjacent uh, control volumes. So, for first control volume the, uh, the west phase will be same as the east phase of the uh, or the east phase of the first control volume will be same as the west phase of the second control volume and they should be uh, represented by the same amount of uh, flux which is uh, suppose uh, you know getting transferred. So, that uh, needs to be you know there needs to be consistency uh, in that case and, and there needs to be uh, conservation. Uh, you know of uh, the property. So, that uh, so you have to take the discretization scheme uh, in, in, in I mean uh, properly which should uh, show this uh, you know uh, uh, this property. Similarly, another uh, you know property which uh, a proper discretization scheme uh, has to follow will be the uh, boundedness value uh, boundedness property. And, uh, uh, what is seen is that uh, you know there has to be uh, the value has to be uh, bounded by certain the extreme values. The uh, suppose you are dealing with a, uh, a problem of uh, conduction as we discussed. Now, in that case uh, the value which will be there in the intermediate nodes it will be bounded uh, uh, by the you know uh, extreme values. So, uh, you know and that also uh, you know uh, 
it, it is seen that uh, uh, you are uh, going to get uh, the meaningful results when you have the uh, diagonally uh, dominant uh, condition because you are getting those uh, you know as you have discussed uh, we will see later that the discretized equation which we get normally you get uh, you know uh, in the, uh, the so that uh, uh, you know equations you will have the three uh, terms in uh, one equation and, and then uh, uh, next uh, on uh, in line also you will have the three equations, but that uh, points will be changing. So, you will have a something like a uh, tridiagonal type of matrix will be coming up and then you will have a corresponding solver also. Now, in that case uh, what has been uh, shown that uh, depending upon the coefficients which is there of the neighboring node and which is there of the, uh, the side nodes of the parent node that is p. So, that basically shows you know the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the property uh, that is also one of the desirable property you know uh, for the uh, that is a sufficient condition for the uh, convergent iterative method. So, otherwise it will be divergent, uh, diverging. So, for uh, that the, uh, the condition is that your summation of uh, the these neighboring you know uh, nodes a and b that will be uh, you know and, and divided by summation of uh, a p prime. So, that will be uh, taking because a prime we are taking because uh, we are taking that uh, contribution from the source term also. Now, if this has to be uh, you know uh, it has to be less than uh, equal to 1 at all nodes and it will be uh, less than 1. Uh, at uh, one node at least. So, uh, what happens that uh, you know this a p prime uh, this is the net coefficient of the central node that will be a p minus uh, s p. So, that is why it is uh, a p prime it is uh, uh, written as and this n b is the basically neighboring nodes. So, you are uh, uh, taking the summation of all the neighboring nodes. Now, what you see that it will less than 1. So, it means uh, uh, you know uh, what we see is that uh, the uh, if that uh, differencing scheme which you are taking and if uh, it is giving you the meaningful uh, uh, result. So, in that case the criterion has to be satisfied and for that the uh, resulting matrix of the uh, coefficient will be the diagonally uh, dominant one. And uh, for that uh, you have uh, to have the larger value of this a p prime. So, a p prime is a p minus s p and that is why many a times what we do is that uh, we take the s p in uh, such a manner that uh, s p has uh, the uh, uh, negative uh, value. So, that a p minus s p so that will be adding. So, you will have the, uh, the diagonal uh, dominance and uh, the diagonal dominance is desirable for the boundedness uh, you know uh, property boundedness criteria. And, uh, uh, this uh, property tells uh, you know this uh, boundedness property tells that uh, the uh, value of the property phi it should be you know uh, bounded by its uh, boundary values. So, uh, you know in the uh, so in the case of steady state uh, you know as we discussed in those cases if it is not so it will be uh, you know uh, changing it will be uh, going above the boundaries that will be unrealistic in fact. So, this is uh, you know uh, the uh, the uh, one of the other property which is uh, there also uh, you know the uh, sign of the coefficients also you know matters. So, it should have all the coefficients should have the same sign. So, that is another you know uh, property. Then the next property which is also very important property when we talk about the convective uh, type of problems. So, it is the uh, transportiveness. Now, uh, it is uh, the uh, you know uh, transportiveness is the uh, property of the fluid and uh, uh, for that uh, you know what is uh, uh, done is that uh, um, you know when there is a fluid flow. So, it will be moving from suppose from the west towards the east or maybe from east towards the west. So, uh, you will have uh, the effect you know when there is a uh, uh, you know uh, largely convection oriented uh, flow uh, then diffusion or um, it may be you know uh, what is the order. So, it may be uh, diffusion dominated flow or it may be uh, convection dominated flow. So, uh, you know for uh, you know uh, 
uh, to understand or, or uh, uh, to properly you know uh, model uh, you know the such kind of uh, uh, flow uh, you define one uh, dimensionless uh, you know numbers uh, dimensionless cell uh, pecklet number and that is divide, uh, defined by pe and it is uh, the ratio of f and d so as you know f will be rho u and d is uh, uh, tau by uh, dx so uh, this uh, pecklet number is uh, basically so delta x is the characteristic uh, you know uh, cell width characteristic length so that is cell width so uh, you will have uh, uh, you know uh, um, the uh, so you have one uh, node towards the w and uh, i mean towards the west and one node towards the uh, you know uh, uh, east now what happens uh, what we mean to know in these cases that when you have a convection dominated flow in that case uh, you if you take this central differencing uh, rule if you try to have the uh, property at the point as the average of the property at these two extreme uh, extremes. So, in that case it will not give you the realistic result. Now, uh, you know when you have uh, now when you have these uh, this uh, situation will be there. So, when the Peclet number is uh, 0 it means that it is uh, uh, purely diffusion type of uh, you know uh, uh, situation in that case if you take the uh, you know uh, contours of uh, you know constant variables. So, in that case you can have this p as the effect uh, effect of both the on this side w and p uh, comes into picture. Now, uh, if you have a uh, you know uh, you know purely convective uh, type of flow when the peclet number is very high or toward tending towards the infinity in that case uh, you know the um, the, the flow will be uh, so the if you find these um, what you see is that if you uh, this is the w so it has more effect on p and rather uh, this uh, e has uh, uh, less effect on p because it will be governed by uh, these uh, you know upstream uh, uh, values so uh, it will its value will not be governed by here but it has bearing of uh, this value so, so what is uh, there? So, based on that, so if you take the central differencing, uh, you know, uh, schemes in these cases, these central differencing schemes uh, uh, are not going to give you the uh, proper results uh, in in these, uh, you know, uh, uh, convection dominated uh, cases. So, uh, what has been seen that uh, uh, if you look at the uh, terms of uh, the uh, aw and ae and ap in the case of uh, uh, the um, the steady this uh, convection diffusion problem what you had seen that uh, uh, you know uh, ae is uh, uh, de minus fe by 2 now what is happening that if you see the uh, ratio of fe uh, f by d is the uh, uh, you know it is uh, the peculate number. Now, if f by d uh, is uh, more than 2, now if you look at the f by d value which is uh, uh, more than 2, in that case that term uh, that coefficient becomes uh, negative and then that will be uh, affecting these uh, boundedness uh, property of the uh, you know uh, uh, so, the condi condition which we have discussed so your constant this uh, coefficient becomes negative whereas, uh, uh, in normal case what we discussed that it should be uh, positive you know. So, because uh, that also affects because it will be positive. So, once it is increase will also affect the increase in on uh, on, on the, uh, the uh, values uh, on the adjacent nodes. So, uh, so, what you see that if the peclet number is more than 2 or less than 2 it has uh, you know uh, its uh, bearing and uh, that is why uh, many a times we need to be carefully uh, you know depending upon these packlet numbers you will have to have the selection of the uh, proper differencing schemes. So, uh, in our uh, uh, coming lectures we will be talking about the different schemes uh, discretization schemes which are used 
uh, you know uh, to uh, uh, take into account this effect like the convection effect or so, uh, uh, so that the numerical results which you are getting it uh, does not show unrealistic results. So, that is why you have uh, because when we talk about the convection dominated flow in that case there are schemes like upwind scheme. So, in that case the um, if you have to define the value at uh, the uh, uh, west cell phase uh, the value of at the uh, the uh, west node has to be taken at, at as the value at the west cell phase. Whereas, in normal case we take the average of the west cell phase plus p by 2. So, that is in the central differencing scheme. So, that is why uh, you have the upwind scheme then we have also other type of schemes like quick scheme or hybrid scheme. So, these schemes are taken uh, to take care of this transportiveness property uh, in the case of convection diffusion type of problems. So, that we will see in our coming lectures. Thank you very much.